Hey guys, Sam from The Breaking Point here, and I am here to cover E3 2011, the Microsoft Conference. Okay, so uh, I just want to open up by saying this year's conference wasn't as good as last year's conference, but it was equally just as uh, suspenseful. Uh, I want to open up saying that uh, they ended in a very strong way, uh, and all I can say is Halo 4. Uh, the trailer for Halo 4 really does look really, really uh, awesome. I mean, the graphics are up there, uh, and I, you can we al already see some new things. Master Chief having uh, a jetpack of his own on, built onto his back, and some kind of weird gun that explodes, and it's like a pistol, but a bazooka. So, maybe more info to come later on throughout the year. I don't know, but we'll stay updated with Halo 4 and all the updates that come along with it. Uh, so yeah, this Microsoft conference wasn't as big. Here's the list of everything I'm going to be discussing. Uh, it's all over the place. It's a huge map. But they spoke about the Connect a lot this conference. Uh, literally everything that they spoke about was either Connect or Connect related. There was only a few titles that weren't Connect related. I'm going to stay very vague because this has been a pretty long video, seeing that I am covering all of uh, the whole conference. So let's just jump in into the games that are not Connect related. Uh, Halo 4, Halo 10th Anniversary, the remastered version of Halo 1. You know, we all saw that coming, and it was pretty good to see. Uh, Tomb Raider looked pretty good. Halo 10th Anniversary, which looked, we all saw pretty much coming. But it uh, still looked good to see, and uh, I was pretty excited to hear about it. Uh, Rise, uh, it was a Kinect game, but uh, re originally it was uh, announced as Kingdoms, and uh, they changed up the whole concept. They made it a Kinect game, which is pretty cool, but um, I put that under uh, not Kinect. Um, in Gears of War 3, of course, uh, anticipated title of the franchise. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the way they opened up. Uh, was pretty cool with that trailer and that demo. Uh, the the actual demo looked really good. Uh, enhanced graphics off of Black Ops and Modern Warfare 2. Uh, you got to see some of the old guns and the new guns correspond with each other, and you got to see a lot of um, cutscenes from the game, uh, just showing you uh, the game engine and how powerful it is, along with the campaign uh, and the visual effects for it. Um, I think I said Tomb Raider. If I didn't say Tomb Raider, that was the second thing they showed, and that was really long, and I really enjoyed it. It looked really good. Uh, I feel that they will be, uh, bring out a lot more female players uh, with this Tomb Raider game, seeing how this is an origin story of Laura Croft, and it looked really realistic. It felt like, as watching it, uh, that it was really motivating and powerful. So that was pretty cool. Um, and going on to talk more about uh, the Connect. Let's talk about the Connect and everything that they announced for the Connect. The big one was Dance Central 2. Um, it was a big plus for the Connect. I, I literally got the Dance Central one. That was my first Connect game. And it's been the only Connect game that I have enjoyed. Um, you could import the songs from Dance Central 1. That was a huge plus. Longer catalog, uh, catalog of songs which was the problem for Dance Central 1. That game ran way too fast and now they're adding a thousand more songs and it's going to be so much better. Two players on the same screen big plus that won me over. Uh, campaign was really good. Uh, from when they showed it, it's an actual campaign now instead of just doing uh, several songs with a certain character and then unlocking a robot and that's it. Uh, there's an actual campaign now featuring the characters from Dance Central 1 and you can make your own character which is cool. Uh, another big plus about it is that um, it has uh, stepped up the graphics, new break it down mode and uh, now you can share everything that you do through this website called xboxconnectshare.com uh, so that, that goes to the Kinect. Uh, there was a lot of kid oriented games and I can see why they want the Kinect to be related to children um, and the Kinect had uh, a few major games for children. Uh, one of them was Sesame Street, Mo Once Upon a Monster. Uh, I found myself saying I could play that game with my little sister or my cousin. Uh, it was a pretty funny game, uh, kid related, and it uh, struck up a lot of memories of Sesame Street. And then I was as a child, 
Uh, the Disneyland game looks pretty good. It's Disneyland in a game. So literally anything that's in Disney World, the Disneyland, is interactive to you and your family through the Kinect. Um, Kinect Sports 2 had the funniest demo and presentation. They had literally had me laughing for everything they were doing. Uh, from the guy playing football with his friend to the lady playing golf and being overexcited about hitting a birdie. Uh, that uh, Connect Sports 1 was really good and this one adds new sports onto it. They didn't want to release all of them yet but it looks like it's going to be a really good game and I can see how they uh, expanded on it. Um, Ghost Recon Future Soldier took the show though for Connect. Literally. Uh, there was, you know, you can literally shoot with like your hands and you can expand out and you'll see all the parts of the gun and it's something called a gun weaponsmith gunsmith mode where you can literally choose and over I think he said over two million customizations for one gun so that's limitless um, and then you can test them out and they did all of this and it was so beautiful uh, and I really want to go out and get that game connect fun labs uh, was broken down into three parts connect me which is you can scan yourself in real-time clothing and it will uh, make a connect avatar of you so you can replace your old cartoony avatar for a more realistic looking like avatar that has all your real feature features finger tracking was a pretty cool thing you can take a picture of yourself like this and another picture of yourself and then you know just draw around it make a 3d uh... drawing uh... you have to see the demo for this because it was really amazing half the crowd was amazed uh... scanning so let's say i wanted to scan um, and since this is perfume bottle into the the Kinect game, you could actually do that with uh, its whole dimension and everything with the volume that you can spray yourself. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, did I may miss anything. Star Wars. Star Wars premiered their game. Had a lot of bugs. It was very uh, laggy and had a lot of problems. Uh, so they need to fix that. I was really looking forward, excited to that. Like I was really looking forward to it, and they kind of like dropped the ball on that one. So. I can see a lot of uh, criticism coming from that. Forza 4 premiered. Uh, the graphics were really stunning and the trailer was really epic. Uh, but you can't judge a book alone on its cover. So we have to wait more for this game. But from the demo and from the, the graphics alone, I'm sold. And it's also Kinect uh, enabled. Um, what else? Oh, Mass Effect 3 is uh, enhanced with the Kinect. Uh, I found that so cool that you could actually uh, voice command everything, literally. So it's like you're an actual soldier sending your guys up, and it was pretty cool. Uh, all I can tell you is that uh, I'm gonna be getting Mass Effect 3 when it first when it first comes out to actually try that connect uh, thing. Um, uh, they also focused a lot on the connect uh, software, so they're talking about. Uh, everything that you you can say the Xbox does so you say it Xbox does it uh, that was their big slogan for this whole uh, campaign and for the whole conference you say it Xbox does it so um, they have the new Xbox experience uh, it's for the Kinect um, the, the layout is different and everything is different that's coming up in the fall which is pretty soon um, then they have Bing the search engine on your Xbox so you can search anything and your Xbox will find it within the whole Xbox category and bring it right to you which is pretty freaking cool if you ask me live TV I've been waiting for this you've been waiting for this Netflix Hulu move aside I can watch live TV let's say I wanted to watch uh, a show that I really like like let's say I wanted to watch Smallville I would say Xbox find Smallville uh, play live TV and it'll play live TV then it'll find Smallville and it'll bring it up for me that is freaking awesome. The UFC has uh, collaborated with Xbox and Microsoft to bring uh, this whole interface of the UFC into the Xbox. So you can uh, order the matches and interact with your friends while watching fights. Uh, I found it pretty cool. Nothing to go crazy for. Uh, YouTube is on the Xbox finally. It took them so many years, but I'm pretty sure they're going to get it right. They didn't show any interface but they just showed that YouTube is on the Xbox now and this literally sounds like a great idea especially with the new Kinect um, so that sounds pretty good other than that guys that's literally everything from the thing um, the only other game that they announced like I said was Rise and uh, Fable the Journey 
which is a whole Kinect experience, and it actually looks pretty good. I'm looking more forward to Rise. It's not a Sony game that's not really a cartoony game. It's more of a realistic Spartacus 300 feel. So that's going to be a game that's going to be a lot of, a lot of people's wish list. Um, entertainment wise, they're focusing on a whole new entertain, entertainment aspect of the Xbox 360. Uh, they're trying to expand and bring your entertainment closer to you and I think they're going to achieve that with the help of the Kinect. Uh, not only did they announce a lot of good games, but they announced a lot of big titles from Call of Duty to Halo 4 to uh, Gears of War to uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, so I think this year's uh, Microsoft press conference really was worth it. Uh, so overall, I'll rate this whole conference uh, on a scale of 1 to 5, I give this a 4.5. Uh, they really couldn't top their last year's conference because last year's conference had Metal Gear uh, Rising, uh, a new Xbox reveal, the Kinect for the first time. So, you know, it was kind of hard to keep up with that, yet they had managed to keep you on the edge of your seat, especially with the whole release of Halo 4. Uh, they didn't release anything else other than that. They ended the show that way, and I'm really excited to see what they have to say. So, this is Simon from The Breaking Point coming to you live from my home to your home. Through, uh, YouTube. Hopefully one day you'll see me on the Xbox 360 while you're watching The Breaking Point. Uh, tonight will be the e th uh, EA E3 press conference, the Ubisoft, and the Sony. I'll be coming to you also live with that information up to the minute. You can, guys can check this out and all the other information. Links will be in the underbar. See you guys later. This time from The Breaking Point. Signing out. Later guys.